Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Gunning for win 75. Loosen up, take a deep breath. No reckless deals with the devil. No reckless deals with the devil. Isaac, 74, 75. Let's get it done. I tried to hit tab to see what the seed is. Not a good start. Wasted a total second. LG 9A WS32. We can live with this. We can work with this. We are on the cellar. But I have to admit that it's kind of nice to be on the cellar with a decent amount of HP. I'm not immediately clenching my butthole, and if I was, it would be for different reasons than not having uh, very much HP. Maybe something to do with the fact that uh, I may or may not have defecated this morning. You don't need to know that, though. Although it is a principal role uh, in the streak, I think, is, is making sure that your colon is, uh, is clean and uncompressed. Did you know that if you took the human colon out of the body and stretched it, to as long as you possibly could. If you uncoiled it, it would be as long as the human colon. It's crazy to think, what a world we live in. What do you think, fight the boss right away or wait for our item room and shop, permutations, etc., etc.? I would like to fight the boss right away. And it is the haunts, but with three HP, there's only one way we lose against the haunt this early. Um, and that is getting hit by the actual body of the haunt. Important thing is don't stress out, you know, if you take a couple of hits against the, the little ghosts, it's actually not a big deal at all. That's a little nasty. The only big deal is that if you take damage against uh, the actual body of the haunt. Even getting shot a couple of times by uh, like the brimstone laser or, or his just like array of shots is not so bad. We can live with it, just just breathe deep down. But hopefully you can understand why I'm a little nervous about um, the idea of having low HP, like 1 HP, and then fighting the haunts on the first floor. If you don't get a spirit heart, it's fairly reasonable to see yourself actually dying there. But this is like the most conservative way to fight the haunt, and I think it's, it's the way that we're going to stick with for the rest of the streak, at the very least, is just not getting up in this dude's face. Never giving him a chance to, to see me sweat. Haunt, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. And when you die, I'm gonna do it some more. What do you got for me? Super Bandage is lovely, and I probably should not have picked it up yet, but that is a huge help for us in feeling relaxed here, taking deep breaths off the start of the game. Lots of spirit hearts. It would be really nice to get something I... Well, actually, now that I think about it, no matter what this guy drops, if it's an item, we're gonna take it, but... Wait, does this guy drop Mr. Mega or Mr. Boom, though? If he, drop mis if he drops Mr. Boom, we'll, uh, you know, check for a secret room and then re-roll it. If he drops... well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all is forgotten, and all is forgiven. I would like to have five cents for the next floor. I'm not gonna sweat the arcade meta too much. Uh, in the early game, it can be valuable, but it's, it's not an essential. Trying to shoot the poop a little bit more vigilantly than I have uh, in my previous Isaac history. Not just for the individual pennies, but, you know, a petrified poop drop could be worth, like, I don't know, 30, 40 cents over the course of a whole run. So, seems like a smart idea to me. We've gotten a nice little haul on this one. Six cents already almost puts us in Spirit Heart plus Arcade territory. Uh, and with two bombs, actually may well put us in Blow Up Your Donation Machine Pick Up an Item territory. And I think we've been kind enough to our donation machine recently that... You know, we can take carte blanche in the early game and then still, uh, you know, donate as much money as it'll take later, hopefully. It's way too early to call that, I suppose. Well, if you're going to twist my arm, I'm going to say that we probably have... We're going to donate 42.3 cents to our donation machine on this run. I've looked at my advanced stats and my Corsi is looking really good this week. Um, I'm feeling like our donation machine is not in trouble. Trade it for a high second round draft pick and the rights to a player currently in the KHL. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna take blank card, but for sure I will take starter, or sorry, mom's key. Starter key? That's a new one. Mom's key, uh, makes chess so good. We haven't taken it a lot recently, and I love mom's key meta, so it hurts me to, to almost be not taking it ever. We'll take it and, and have a great time, I think. And there is a, a tinted rock with a key associated with it there. We also got the keys associated with, uh, mom's key. But also, the, the main thing about it, yeah, that was not surprising. The main thing about it is that it just makes chests so good. I'm really glad I did not do this room before fighting the haunt. I would have possibly put myself in a slightly trickier position. And I'm not going to worry too much about the pill. If we if we get it on our with our bomb, I will be happy. If we don't, that is also fine. I'll take it. 
Or I won't take it. We can live with it either way. I'm hoping that our item room basically fills in the only hole we have in our early game uh, setup right now, which is base damage. Oh, that was real dumb. If we can get uh, higher damage, this is an incredibly good start. We might as well blow this up right now. Man, this room has a it's chock full of enemies. The extra spirit heart is lovely. I'd also like to get two more cents again and again so we could get an arcade. I did just spend 15, so it's not a big surprise. What do you think? Probably it's it's easy to find our secret room, it looks like at least. Bob's brain is going to be rerolled. Sorry, Bob's brain. Headless Baby is a little bit less offensively good, but 20 times safer. So I'm completely pleased with this payout. It also means we won't have to pay for Headless Baby from our deal with the devil, which is always a good thing. Although I oftentimes do take it. It's a sometimes item. And we got another reroll left over, which we'll uh, hopefully be able to use soon enough on the next floor. Well, if you're not going to give me enough money to get an arcade, this is a close second. Getting a, a random spirit heart there feels great. Come on, just give me my second secret room here. Ah, it's got to be on the right there. Oh, well. No arcade, but still awesome. Let's do this. Plenty of protection here. Curse of the Blind, uh, it, this is one of the worst floors to get Curse of the Blind on. Let's just make sure we create a choke point here with Headless Baby. So we can uh, weaken these guys at least if we don't kill them before they get in. Uh, it is one of the worst floors to get uh, Curse of the Blind on. I probably should not be in the kill box here, Tony, but um, the, it means our first deal with the devil is going to be fucked up. Alright, I wanted to take one pill and save the other one for after, just in case it's like speed down, tears down, health down, bad trip, etc, etc. I'd rather tackle it on the next floor. I'm happy that the, the sacrificial pill ended up being a tears upgrade, which is awesome for us. Now, Mom's Keys, time to shine. That was uh, extremely good. <laughs> I think that's fairly obvious. And for two bombs to open that Tinted Rock, I'm going to be all over that. And if we can get... Uh, if we can get... A small rock, our damage is going to be so nice on this floor. That's okay. Two bombs for a key is... It's it's alright considering that I'm going to want to open golden chest because of mom's key. And, you know, that one paid for itself and then some. Okay, we haven't found our item room yet, but certainly we can go fight our boss. We're on the basement, so we wouldn't expect it to be too difficult here. And we got tons of, uh, tons of protection. This is looking very, very basic right now. Two hard deals are unrerollable. If we wanted to, we could reroll one hard deals, but I really like all the you know when people say all other things being equal? This is the exact situation of all the other things being equal. We don't know what the deals with the devil are, so rerolling them is a net loss because we don't know if we're missing out. Even if we picked up something half decent, we'd be like, well, you know, what if we miss something amazing? Plus, Curse of the Blind gives me the ability to take Brimstone or Mom's Knife without making people mad at me. <laughs> because I don't I have no control over what it is. Spirit of the Night, totally fine. Uh, an absolutely acceptable pickup. Horror Babylon, also really good. Pill was puberty, no big deal. Um, yeah, this is this is nice, man. Uh, we we can't use Horror Babylon right away, but it's a nice damage dealer for the future. And if we get uh, some arcades, we can do something amazing there. Spirit of the Night, of course, gives us the ability to fly. I, I'm not sure if you were aware of that. It does make the hitbox on our tiers smaller? Is that? True? It certainly seems like it's true. And we did sacrifice a lot of HP to make it happen, but I'm totally content with this. I'm trying to find our uh, first secret room or second secret room for that matter. There we go. Uh, key Beggar. I know we only have one bomb left, but I'm going to blow him up anyway. We got a puberty pill out of it. Not a good return on our investment. But that's okay. Let's do a little bit more exploration on this floor. We're so slow that we're already basically calling it quits on Boss Rush, which I think is totally fine. We haven't done it recently, and to the best of my knowledge, most of our recent runs have turned out to be wins. Book of Secrets sucks real bad. But, easy reroll. Actually, it found us our second secret room if we can get to it. Judas' Shadow is so beautiful if we can get another Spirit Heart on this floor. Because it will also put us in the Whore of Babylon state. So we'll definitely be looking around for more Tinted Rocks. Uh, and, if possible, uh, a Spirit Heart on our shop. Doesn't look like we'll get one here. But, it's risky to do so. But the damage potential from it is so large that I think we have to at least give it a shot. I won't do it, though, if there's no Spirit Heart uh, in our shop. Because it's just a little too risky there, I think. There is no Spirit Heart in our shop. Now, I'm still tempted to do it, I gotta admit. Let's see what's... Oh, okay. We'll buy a bomb. 
if there is one for sale, which there is, and then we'll um, take it to our second secret room, and if it's a black card, then we can kill ourselves and make it work. We don't have to do the Judas' Shadow thing right away, but I'd almost prefer to do it right away, just so I know. You know, just so I've, I've already got it done. It is a bunch of red hearts. I don't think we're going to kill ourselves on this floor. I think we're going to wait till the next floor. Uh, if we can do it, our damage is still great, so we don't have to worry about that. We just, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose it too early. Basically, if we get a spirit heart, that will be where we end our lives to respawn with Judas' Shadow. And normally, I'd be a little concerned about our HP. You know, oh, we only have three HP. That's really dangerous. But because we picked up that super early spirit of the night, it is the spirit of the night. No, because we picked it up, uh, I should be defensively in a very, very sound position, so... I'm feeling pretty great about our chances. Red chests? Mm, we will open those. Ah, if we're gonna open them, we might as well open them now. I was a little underwhelmed by that until I saw that there was a nickel thrown in there. Certainly we are unlikely to go two floors without getting a shop that provides us with uh, a spirit heart, so... I would expect to see one here. And I would prefer to, like, here's the thing. The thing that makes this so amazing is that we also have four of Babylon going along with it. But, if we have to, like, if we have the opportunity, I should say, to pick up extra HP in the form of Eternal Hearts or even just regular vanilla HP upgrades, that's totally fine by me as well. The damage upgrade from Judas' Shadow is huge, even if we don't get Horror Babylon permanently to go along with it, at least as of yet. We can always get that in the future. Let's just invest in our present right now. We have our arcade coming up. Um, might as well. Yeah, I'm trying to get these guys to stop because then I've got a, a huge advantage in terms of range over them. Or at least shot speed. That's a reroll. I'm not gonna use Dead Sea Scrolls because I don't wanna risk uh, I don't wanna risk like kamikaze. Okay, this is fine. Again, like we're we're in a not even a delicate situation right now, because if we get hit and die, we respawn as Judas the Shadow, which is Kind of what we want to begin with. We just want to, we want to have control over it if possible. I should not be taking as many hits as I have taken on this room, but it's all right. Just don't throw. You know, this is still a situation in which you want to play good Isaac. You don't want to fuck it up completely. Tears up is great. I was hoping that that would be balls of steel, but uh, forty-eight hour energy is also amazing. Let's come down here and see what we got. Uh, X-Ray Goggles is, I'm not going to say non-rerollable, but it's great. I like it a lot. All secret rooms for the rest of the game are going to be easy for us to get. Uh, we, I mean, we probably should pick those up right now. It, let me put it this way, it's probably not going to matter that we're not picking them up now. We're probably not going to get another reroll before the boss fight. And again, a uh, Dark Bomb pickup would be incredible, but... Is this Curse of the Blind again? No, obviously not, because we saw what our item was, so... Uh, if we get a deal with the devil, we'll be able to choose whether or not we want to keep. And... That's fine. Um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If it's an HP upgrade, then we probably want to kill ourselves and respawn as Judas' Shadow, even without the benefit of the Horror Babylon pickup. Yes. Yeah, Judas' Shadow does not need Horror Babylon to be good. I just want to reiterate that for myself. Judas' Shadow is amazing by itself. It's unbelievably amazing that we have the opportunity to use it in conjunction with the Horror of Babylon. Well, that's not HP, is it? But, um... Just by itself, it's it's amazing anyway. I'm... By the way, I was never gonna reroll that. It's just damage upgrade out of one of our eyes. That's totally fine by me. I think that is half decent. Oh, yes, please. Follow me down the, the path that I have laid down this bloody creep on. Don't mind if I do. It's... Like, I might sound a little wary, I am a little wary about the way that this run is looking right now, just because of our low HP, but... Uh, I, I think that it's going to be amazing once we get the Judas' Shadow payout happening, which... is not going to be right here. Okay, here's what we do. We buy this and use it, and it's Latch Key, which gives us a Spirit Heart. So, I have made it come true. Let me just double-check my brain. Do you have Judas' Shadow? Yes. Yes, you do have Judas. You have at least one life, so even if it's Lazarus Rags, you're not losing anything here. There we go. We've come back as Dark Judas. We'll take Latch Key. It gives us the Spirit Heart. And two keys, of course. Uh, why not? Mom's Purse is a valuable item. So our damage is going to be just absolutely disgusting right now. Let's go explore some more, because, you know, every Tinted Rock is 
pretty important right now. Uh, we, we really need to get some momentum going. Oh, okay, or we could just go to our curse room right away and lose half. Well, it's only half a spirit heart, I guess. I, sh I shouldn't build it up as if it's a huge problem. Let's try to get a, uh, a reroll charge naturally before we go in, just in case there is a uh, an item in there we want. I kind of don't want to take the pill yet. I know I'm being a, a little baby about it, but I'm a little scared. Great, this was well worth it. And we took it, it's Lemon Party. Okay, we learned something. Whoo, okay. Onwards and upwards to our next floor where we will not get an arcade, but at this point does not matter. What are our keys for success here? Just freaking don't get hit. We're in a great spot. Getting hit really compromises it quickly though. Yeah, we'll open this. Even if a, a golden chest doesn't pay out with something incredible for us, we would expect a huge consumable gain. Like, it'll almost always at least give us the equivalent of paying for itself in terms of keys. Even if it didn't literally give us a key there, it gave us like 8 cents and a bomb. Or two bombs, so... Feeling pretty solid about it. This is, uh... I mean, they're champion versions of these enemies, or these champion... or these, um, bosses so far, so it's pretty annoying. That chub was really fast, we just got super lucky that... I am also super fast as a result of the uh, Horror of Babylon play. Or pick up, I guess. And there's our key back one way or the other. We have to. We have to try. And it keeps working out half decently for us. I mean, we've gained spirit hearts on our, on our journeys to those secret rooms thus far. So I don't think we've made bad decisions or anything like that. And this room is like a, a joke if you can actually fly. If you can't fly, there's a little bit of that harrowingness where you're like, am I going to be able to time this properly? when you can fly that uh, it's pretty automatic all we need um, to make this run a guaranteed win and I, I basically mean that literally is um, dark bum if we get dark bum it's over we've won we've got 75 wins if we don't get dark bum we're still looking real good right here the moon card by the way I'm thinking I use that uh, Maybe to teleport out of uh, a boss or mob trap room on the next floor. Let's try it. I found pills is, is totally fine as far as I'm concerned. We learned a little bit a little bit about our pill rotation in the process. Let's try to put down like a protective creep around us here. That's one of the better things about Headless Baby if you got the speed and maneuverability to make it happen. Like if we can teleport out of our uh, boss trap room on the next floor. Or mob trap room on the next floor, that's fine. We might as well take it. Blank card. I don't want it, but uh, I love the secret room pool. We need to go deeper is not what I want either. But this is a really good target for rerolls. Lucky Foot is is fine. It's not necessarily what I would have picked for myself, but it's okay. Um, but the secret room has one of the most stacked pools. You know, Raw Liver is a huge HP upgrade. Uh, Black Lotus is a really functional HP upgrade. I think you can get Pyro or Skeleton Key on it. Like, those are both valuable as well. So I'm really, I'm stoked about that. Uh, and getting an item in the secret room is pretty rare, so I'm happy that it's worked out for us. Probably just a spirit heart here, just to keep ourselves uh, as as fresh as we can be. The spirit hearts are really going to be our lifeblood here. And I'm not going to stress out about, you know, not taking the boss item. If the boss wants to give us HP, I'm happy to take it. Uh, even with Curse of the Blind. The Ruin Horde Babylon will still have great damage, though. Rusted Key is a totally fine trinket to take. Especially with Mom's Key, this seems like really nice synergy. Not only will we get more keys, but we'll get more chests as well. And each chest is going to be valuable for us. So, yeah, I'm feeling like this is pretty good. And you know what? If you want to give me Krampus here, that's fine too. I'd be happy with Lump of Coal, and I'd be happy to reroll um, Krampus's head. Again, if this is HP, we'll get a chance probably in the future to give it away and get back to the Horde Babylon state. It's Magic Mushroom, the best kind of HP upgrade. And here is our, uh, our Krampus fight. Again, pretty much what was asked for, so... I hope it's Lump of Coal so we can reroll the Secret Room guilt-free. It was Head of Krampus, so we'll reroll this instead because it is the deal with the Devil. We got Demon Baby, which is not incredible, but... You know, it's not awful either. Do we have a battery for sale on our shop? We do not, so we might not be able to actually reroll You Must Go Deeper. That's unfortunate. But we might be able to as well. Either way, it's been a pretty good floor. The Magic Mushroom pickup is, you know, it, it lowers our damage. But in the future, presumably, we'll have a chance to give this up. Get a Guppy's Paw or something like that. Or just a deal with the Devil that's, you know, raw for that matter. 
We could also blow up our donation machine and try to get some money and then use that money to buy stuff, but I don't really want to do that. Sorry, Secret Room. I wish that I had uh, wish that I'd planned a little better to use you, but that's okay. Haven't solved all of our problems on this floor, but Magic Mush certainly does not hurt. Curse of the Labyrinth, huh? So this is our last uh, our last set of item rooms, our last shop, and uh, one of our last opportunities for a deal with the devil. Even though it's going to be a pretty low percentage chance, I think so. That sucks a little bit. But it does give us a chance to do boss rush. <laughs> if we find our boss in like the next minute. We could totally make that happen. That is awesome. Of course with mom's key. In the back of my mind I'm like. If money equals power shows up. Life's going to be pretty sweet. Oh that was just terrible damage. I'm not trying to, to sell this as a super tough run right now. But it still is in the position where it could go terribly, terribly wrong. Oh, I appreciate that a great deal. We gotta, um, it, well, to give ourselves the maximum chance, we gotta do everything like I just did right there, you know? We gotta blow up the fires to get, uh, to, to get better spirit heart chances. We gotta really invest in, in all of these, like, small probabilities to make our run better because they add up to be something more than the sum of their parts. They can add up to a winning run here. We do want to open that. You know, if we're not going to do boss rush, which we're not, we might as well just open it right away. And as far as I'm concerned, we just got a bomb for free, so I'm not going to sweat that too much. There is a pretty decent chance, considering the size of the floor and the amount of money we had when we came down, that uh, we're going to be able to get an arcade. And if we're able to get an arcade, I don't really want IV bag, but we could at least get down into the Horror of Babylon state and try to hold it until I stupidly pick up a... A red heart later and uh, that, that's like the best of both worlds right now but mostly I'm hoping we get a deal with the devil for one or two red hearts that I can trade for on this floor this is a great room with a lot of bombs and the ability to fly this is uh, the room of our dreams basically oh man I got hit posthumously by that guy that's good yeah yeah we can live with this Hopefully those tarot cards end up working out better for me than I would originally expect. But at least we got one black card out of it and all these tarot cards. Emperor is fine. Stars is fine. Magician is fine. Uh, I think we take the Emperor with us. If we're not going to be using the Moon card, really, let's take the Emperor with us. And probably my use for the Emperor card will be on the Cathedral. But we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Depends what our HP looks like by the time we get down to the womb. So what's the worst case scenario for us here? Well, um, boss fight with that drops an item we don't like. Obviously on the mom fight we take the Polaroid. Let's assume we take a little bit of damage on the mom fight. No deal with the devil or a shit deal with the devil. Womb XL and then we take a lot of damage in the process on the womb. And then all of a sudden the run looks, uh, looks quite scary actually. Oh, also a, a, a shop that has greed in it on this floor would be a real piss off. But actually a fairly likely turn of events. That was a really good chest. Range up is fine by me. I've had two of them so far. That's all we'll need for the entirety of the game. Well, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to say I won't take another one for free. Making really good use of our rerolls right now. And by really good use, I mean I can't find the fucking item room. Rooms, I guess. Alright. What's the best case scenario for us? We fight the Fallen. He drops Dark Bum. After we kill Mom... We get a devil room that gives us, you know, <laughs> Brimstone Mom's Knife. Guppy's Paw. It gives a, and it gives us all of them for free. It's three red chests, and each red chest contains two red chests that each drop a deal with the devil item. Well, you asked! Don't get on my case, mister. Stay back here. Cricket's Head. Still great. Uh... We haven't had any of the, like, super bombastic chest pickups yet, but it's still amazing either way. Mom's key has paid for itself, like, triple, tri threefold? Doesn't sound right. You gotta say tenfold if you're starting to bring folds. Otherwise, it's like you should have stuck with a word that has a little bit less importance. We do have a tinted rock here. Small rock, please. Okay, I appreciate the spirit heart, but... Can't deny that a little bit of extra damage might be a little bit more valuable. Hey, why don't we fight our first boss? Finally, an opportunity to use a reroll. 
Who do we have? Gish, uh, totally fine. I, I'm going to miss the opportunity for it to possibly be like any boss related item, including like especially DPS stuff. However, I do like little Gish. I think the slowing uh, tier effect is one of the better ones in the game. We're not going to fight Mom right away because we just there's there's still far too much available on this floor. At least we got to keep our reroll though, and we definitely, if possible, on the shop want to buy a battery and carry a reroll into the uh, the Devil Room if, if if we get one, which is somewhat unlikely. So this is a little unfortunate because by picking that up, that means that I won't be able to guarantee myself. Uh, to be at zero HP after taking a deal with the devil. Like, we're going to have one HP on the next floor no matter what. But I've, I'm hedging my bets a little bit. You know, I think there's something to be said for making sure our raw HP is fine. As well as making sure that we have a, a chance at the, uh, the Whore of Babylon play. I think they're both important. We're going to find, like, all of our rooms stacked up in the same fucking corridor here. And now, if we fight Greed, we might only get one reroll for every... <laughs> for everything on this floor, which is funny. Oh my god, it's Dark Bomb. Okay, we won. I don't want to be cocky, but it's definitely uh, extremely likely that we're going to pull out a win here. I'm, I'm being a little conservative with our rerolls because it might be our last ones. Uh, and let's donate a ton of money. That's a range upgrade, of course. Come on, take at least like 25 cents. I can afford it right now. At least you took a little, but I really wish you had taken a little bit more. So that Dark Bomb pickup is disgustingly good. And I don't even need to, to walk him through every single room that has red hearts. But I appreciate it either way. We'll get to the HP cap. I mean, actually, we're fine where we are right now because we're going to have uh, the Eternal Heart pop on the next floor. So this is as much HP as we can really make use of for sure. Although if we get a deal with the Devil, we might want some more. But anyway, let's just fight Mob for now. I'm going to try to put down a decent swath of creep. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Get damage from a couple of different sources at the same time. I got to admit that it's my own fault, but I'm a little bit underwhelmed with my damage, which is going to make people angry because I have, you know, Judas the Shadow, Horror Babylon, although it's not currently in use, uh, Magic Mushroom, and among other things like Blood Clot. But I was, I'd kind of be expecting it to be a little better right now, but maybe we can swing that uh, Horror babylon this and, and make it happen. I gotta find something to complain about now that our HP looks good, right? Heading down to the next floor. We did take the Polaroid. Oh, it feels good, man. Win 75 is, is well within our grasp. It's ours to lose. I almost... You know what? Yeah, let's just do it. I'll use the Emperor card here. We don't want Conquest. At least we have a reroll ready that we can use right away. There are many things we would want from a deal with the devil here, and we probably have a great chance to make it happen. A little tricky there, but we made it work. And I'm starting to feel very, very good about this. We need, like, a super aggressive deal with the devil, and that is not it. <laughs> Guppy's Paw. Little Brimstone is also good, but it's not really what we needed. Um, let's get another reroll and try to use it on the White Pony, because... I'm feeling pretty good about our damage right now, and also, if we can get some red hearts along the way, it would make me feel a little bit better about our spirit hardness, but either way is fine, I appreciate that. I would like you to pay out with, at this point, we're not going to get Horror of Babylon, and we should be okay with that, so if you just want to give me an HP upgrade, that's fine, it's not my favorite payout that you could possibly give me, but I'll be content with it either way. Anything? I mean, the keys are nice, I'm not going to lie, but one of these days you're going to pay out with a live bomb and basically I'm not going to be able to save you. Because after all, I'm your Wonder Ball. Oh, ooh, the Awas rune. Not particularly exciting, but if it had been a Yera, I would have been dazzled. Come on, dog, this is getting a little ridiculous. I'm giving you 16 cents. Not that you haven't paid out with some nice stuff, but uh, this is not what I signed up for. Although that spirit heart makes me feel a lot better about it. I really feel like there's like two different kinds of judgments. This is the one that never pays out with an item, but pays out with consumables. What'd you get? Oh, yeah, it's just HP. Uh, we'll push a spirit art off to take it. You know, I'm thinking, fuck it. Why are we going to bother re-rolling that? We're still fine. We're going to win. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. I think we have 12 HP. I'll spoil that for everybody. No judgments in here, so I'm even going to leave the money on the ground. We could play the Blood Bank a little bit, but I feel like it's largely irrelevant. You're slow, so you're not going to jump very far. Okay. Again, my, my biggest regret on this run is that unless we get a Joker card, 
it's not really going to be possible for me to get into the Horde of Babylon. So actually, with 2 HP, we could. If we get a half red heart drop and we don't let Dark Bum take it, we can make that happen. So let's um, let's play our Blood Bank once to take us to zero. Or sorry, to take us to one. And then if a half red heart drops, we pick it up, play our Blood Bank again, and then we get the Horde of Babylon state. That's why 2 HP might be better than 1 in this case, even if we want to be closer to 0 so we can get the Horror of Babylon. We actually have the capacity with 2 HP to get down to half of a heart, instead of uh, not that, that not being a possibility. I lost my eloquence a little bit there at the end, but you, you, know, you followed, I think, for the most part. I hope. This also does allow us to get into this boss trap room. And while I don't think we have a great chance of picking up uh, a good red chest item, why not, right? It's worth a chance. I do kind of want to check that out. I was hoping for a half red heart there. You got one for me? Nope. That's okay. How about now? Burnt Penny. I think Rusted Key is better for us because of the extra chests that it gives us. That was a snipe and a half from Fistula there, but I probably should have also just moved. Come on. Just one and a half red heart. It's like the most common payout in the game next to a single penny. And I only need one, but it has to be on this floor, and I can never pick up red hearts again. It's alright. It also shows up from, you know, exploding the polyps here, so... I should have... Oh, there we go. Okay, this is, should be perfect if I get, uh... Invincibility from this play. We'll Well, actually, it'll just pop up and say, What a terrible night to have a curse, right? That'll be my indicator that we're in the Horror of Babylon state. Hey! What a horrible night to have a curse. Sorry, I'm such a poser. That's going to make our damage amazing. So now just never pick up any other red hearts, and this is as good as the damage gets, man. We don't have placenta or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> we don't have placenta or anything like that, so I wouldn't be expecting uh, it to spontaneously regenerate. We do have Dark Bum that can you know, make good use of the red hearts that drop, so I don't have to. It's like five here? No, just four. Okay. Remember, I gotta drill it into my brain here. Don't take red hearts. Red hearts are bad. Red hearts are troll bombs now. Red hearts at night, sailor's delight. Are you a sailor? No, so you don't want the red hearts. That's for you, Dark Bomb. So far, so good. This is our regular secret room. Two tiers upgrade pills, I'm not gonna complain about in the least. Explosive diarrhea, I will complain about a little bit, and eh, I don't really like that that much. Alright, complaining commenced and completed. Let's go fight Mom. Mom's heart. It's the same thing. Yo, the, the heart named itself, doesn't that blow your mind? I'm just fucking with you. Michael A.L. Fox. Isms right there. I'm fine with that damage, I can live with it. Let's hope we don't have Curse of the Unknown on the next floor. It's the only thing that slightly scares me about this run is... You know, taking hits here and there and not regenerating as many spirit hearts and not realizing that we're uh, as low as we are. I would really like you to pay out with not HP. Or, actually, red hearts would be fine. Pay out with as many red hearts as you want. I'll give them to Dark Bum. Example. Okay, I mean, a friendly spider is, is something we didn't have before, so I'm content with it. Range up. Followed by... Uh, Game Kid, which I do not want to use because it'll fuck up our uh, Invincibility plus Horror Babylon situation we got going on, but at least it gives us a reroll target if we take forever on this floor But we do want to not take forever on this floor like if we can Get through to this pretty quickly. It'd be great Okay, this is this is starting to look slightly scary We can't take too many more hits like that. Okay, that's a, a guaranteed payout of something Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you I appreciate that. Uh, if you could stop hanging out with spiders now, things are looking the slightest bit dire. Just the slight, I'm not trying to act like this is gonna be a terrible run. We have some of the best defensive upgrades in the game. Or sorry, offensive upgrades in the game. And Dark Bum, which is arguably like the maybe second best defensive item after nine lives, but people might d have some debate over that. I think more chests is better than uh, poison. I think poison is overrated a little bit, even though I, I overrated. I am the one doing the overrating, but um, in this case, I think it's better for us. Fool card, eh. Largely, probably a little irrelevant here, and we probably have at least four or five rooms to go before the boss fight, so I think this is worth it. And 
speed plus range, it's not amazing, but I want to be a little conservative with how many rerolls I would be expecting to get here. Oh, that was just a shit play. I should have just hit over the rocks, man. At least we broke even, but shouldn't have even been a, a contest. I'll keep picking up the money. Money equals power could show up. That's how you know I'm at least the slightest bit nervous. We'll kill Larry Jr. We'll wait for our payout here, and then we'll fool card the fuck out of there. That went very... Oh! <laughs> I thought we had done that, Room. And I'm very fast, so I walked right into the enemy. You know what? I A lot of people are going to disagree with this decision, I have to feel. But just to hedge our bets a little bit, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take that as a sign that we should come in here, and that ended up working out nicely. Broken Ock. Oh, I forgot that we had two trinkets. Right, we could have taken Pinky Eye. I st I'm happy with our layout here. I'll admit Broken Ankh is not a great chance for a respawn, but if we get it, you never know, man. All it takes, you know, only got four chances to save the world. Doesn't That was a bad reference. You should not laugh for that. Um, just keep moving it along here. We got no problems of which to speak. That dodge is always so dangerous. I always dodge right into the direction the bullets are coming. Which I think is not the intended purpose of a dodge, usually. Normally, they're, uh, the purpose of a dodge is to be a rugged vehicle for, you know, rural American lifestyle. At least for the RAM. For the RAM. Mathis is now playing H1Z1. Oh, there's a surprise. Thanks for the... Uh Illumination Steam. Were it not for that, I might think that he was playing something completely different, like Ark Survival Survival Evolved. If you're gonna make a dickhead joke like that, you gotta get your cadence right. You gotta work on the delivery a little bit there. More keys. This benefits me zero. Uh, that benefits me a lot. It doesn't benefit me zero, but it, it probably does not benefit me much. It's weird how with some... Uh, slowing effects, like with the broken stopwatch or stopwatch, it's like Isaac can't hit you, but with the gish effect, he can still hit you. Are there different, am I misrepresenting this, or are there like different degrees of slowness on some of the items? I may be misrepresenting it, I don't know. It's quite common for me to be mistaken when it comes to mechanical things in Rebirth. I would, I would put us at like a 98% chance to win this run, which admittedly is not 100% confidence, but, uh, I don't think I deserve to be 100% confident, given that I've taken some pretty terrible damage. No curse here is lovely. We do have a lot of tools at our disposal. Pyro helps out a ton. Gemini is good enough to take, I think. Um, Book of Sin paid out with a battery, which is great, because we'll get two rerolls here. Oh, we want to take Pyro. I almost accidentally didn't take it. Cricket's Head is obviously amazing. And Turdy Touch, not that useful. Although with Invincibility, it might be worth something. But uh, yeah, we'll reroll it instead. We got Rubber Cement. Pretty decent haul from the chest here. Cricket's Head, probably cheap amongst them. But Pyro makes me very, very difficult to kill. If I lose all my Spirit Arts, I can decide to be like, you know what, we're going to we're gonna um, go for a full Red Heart run. And I'm just constantly going to hit myself. Still going to be a little nerve-wracking, but I don't think it's going to come to that. The Cricket's Head pickup is just too good. So we're saving that room behind us, um, might as well. We're saving that room behind us as a double reroll room that we can use in the future. I don't think we're going to need it. I'm feeling, like, now if I was 98% confident before, I'm closing in on 100 now. I'm feeling really good. And I think I should be, honestly. RNG has carried us quite a long way in this game, and, uh, I haven't played badly enough to throw us completely under the bus. So I guess kudos to me and kudos to the game for giving me that kind of opportunity. Algiz rune. Oh, well, if it wasn't 100% chance before, now it definitely is. The Algiz rune will make it so if we at least make it to the Blue Baby boss fight, it doesn't matter how much HP we have, we're going to win. We didn't need it, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. Of course, we'll take uh, Blood of the Martyr here for a damage upgrade. Robo Baby 2.0 is, is more trouble than it's worth, I think, on this present run, so we'll just ignore it. I'm just trying to throw in shots at, like, crazy angles, because they, they hit multiple enemies. We got, like, a little pinball machine going on here. Might as well get all the possible angles we can to make it impossible for them to dodge. We don't really need you to pay out there. Like, I, I, it's a thought that counts, but don't waste your time. Use your efforts on, on something constructive. Very poor damage on my part. 
it's completely okay. Again, this Algae's Rune is the ultimate failsafe. And you know what? I actually am proud of myself for not accidentally taking uh, any more red hearts since we did that play to put ourselves in the Horror of Babylon state. It was lucky to even have the opportunity to do it, but I'm proud of myself for not accidentally picking up red hearts. I'm not going to pat myself on the back too hard. I might break my spine, as Green Day said way back in the day. But uh, still, pleased with this. Let's try not to blow ourselves up or get hit by an explosion either, because that would actually be worse than just losing a spirit heart right now. I don't think we really have much to use rerolls on, so... Just be on our merry way. Uh, probably the best course of action was to kill Gluttony last there, but I don't have control over where these bullets go after they leave my, uh, after they leave my station, you know? It's gonna be a little bit of a longer run than you expect as well, so... No matter what, you cannot take the 75 streak away from me. So, even if we... Wow. Amazing. Even if we end up, uh... Losing... Before 100... At least I'm somewhat vindicated for saying that I could get a 100 st streak in 2015. When I said that, people go, Psh, 100 streak, you're crazy, Northern Lion. 75, at least, not that I'm compromising and saying like I want to lose now, but 75 at least makes it so that uh, that was not a ridiculous assumption that it was possible. At least that's my assessment of how it goes. Might as well pop our Algiz rune here. This makes it conceivable that 100 wins could happen. Of course, we could lose on the next run with Eden. We've had a lot of really shaky Eden starts lately that scared the crap out of me, but, uh... We could lose on any run. You know? What do we say to the god of the low Eden HP and shit items RNG? Not today. Or tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. That is 75 wins. I'm feeling great. I hope you are, too. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If not, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.